family, I hope you're having a great 4th of July and 244 years for our country. I'm thankful to be an American, thankful for what we celebrate today. And I have this picture that hangs in my office. And this picture is the when they were signing the Declaration of Independence. And uh, we should be so thankful for those men that signed it and for those men and women who have fought for our freedom all these years. We're at a crossroads in our country today. And we're seeing it before our eyes. We're seeing our wonderful documents, our Constitution, the Bill of Rights being trampled for the sake of health. And health is important. But we're losing a lot today. Tomorrow is God and Country Sunday at our church. And I hope that you'll join us at 8.30, 10 a.m., and I'll talk about the evening service here in just a minute. We um, have a special gift for everyone that comes tomorrow and for every family. It's a copy of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. And some interesting things. Let me read you one of the in the Constitution. Actually, the Bill of Rights, Amendment 1. Congress shall make no law prohibiting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of the speech or of the press or of the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for the redress of grievances. So we hear today a lot that protests should be allowed, right? And they can yell and chant. And then the governor of California says, churches can't allow singing anymore because it could help spread the virus. That's their stepping on the Bill of Rights. Congress shall make no law prohibiting the free exercise of religion. No law, no ordinance, nothing. Big problem in America today, people don't know our founding documents. Constitution, Bill of Rights, I'm gonna give this out tomorrow and I hope that you will take this and I hope that you'll read through it. And I think every American should know what our country should be standing for. And so we'll have that tomorrow, God and Country, um, our children are singing tomorrow. They had a song planned way back before all this stuff happened. Back in March, they were supposed to sing. Well, tomorrow they're going to sing it. And uh, say, well, pastor, we're not supposed to be singing in church. What are we going to do? We're going to sing, and we're going to sing, and we're going to sing to the Lord. He's worthy of our praise and worthy of our singing. We need to sing to God. And so we will do that tomorrow. And I'm excited. We'll sing some patriotic songs Tell my message tomorrow morning is make America godly again. I say, oh boy, he's sounding like Trump there. No, more than America needs to be great. The only way greatness is going to come back is by America getting back to God. And we're going to talk about blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. So I'm excited for tomorrow morning, 8.30, 10 a.m. Hope you'll be here. Hope you'll be a part of that. And uh, also tomorrow night, we have a barbecue planned and a service the message for Sunday evening is entitled, The Hindrances to Revival. How can we get revival? If we love our country, if we love America, America needs revival. And it's dependent on the people of God to get revival. So I'm going to preach on tomorrow night, The Hindrances to Revival. We're going to meet together. And overwhelmingly, we have a lot of people who want to come for the barbecue and things afterwards. And so... I made a decision, and so the decision is this. We're going to start service at 7 p.m. tomorrow night. So 7 p.m., service will go from 7 to about 7.45. We'll have food, hamburgers and hot dogs, and then we will have um, the fireworks right after. And some of you might be like, well, why don't we just have the picnic at 4 or at 6 or all of that? A lot of people signed up to come. Just because they signed up doesn't mean that they're going to come. I understand, I understand that. But the building will get too packed out and then outside. So this is my thought. We'll start service at 7. Bring your lawn chairs tomorrow night, okay? We're going to have it outside, out, outside, and uh, we'll have a good time with that. And then we'll just leave our chairs there. We'll eat right there all together. And then we'll also do the fireworks. We're going to do the fireworks where the tables are at out back. And we're going to just have it private just for us. We're going to play some patriotic music. Have a great time honoring and, and grateful for our country and the independence that we have. And also having a great time together. And so tomorrow, 8.30 and 10 a.m.
Then tomorrow night, 7 p.m., service will start outside. Bring your lawn chairs. If you don't have lawn chairs, I'll have chairs for you. We'll sit outside. It'll be cool out by that time. We'll have some shade of the service outside, and we'll talk about the hindrances to revival. And then we'll have food, hot dogs, hamburgers, chips, and sodas, and drinks, and have a great time, and have, we'll have some fireworks together, and enjoy our freedom together. And so I hope that you'll join us tomorrow, be a part of it. And with all that being said, let's just make sure that we're careful in the things that we do. I look in our world today, and I look at our government today. I look at our government in California. And I really think they're just looking for any little slip up anywhere with anything that we do so that they can try and come after us. And in all honesty, let them come. You know, if he wants to send someone because we're singing in church, I'll, I'll, we'll hire a lawyer and we'll go to court and we'll fight that one. They don't make protesters do anything, so they can't really make a church do anything. And uh, government needs to stay out of the church. And that's why, that's one of the reasons we have the freedoms we do today. And we're going to stand for that freedom and stand for what's right. But I also believe we need to be careful. So let's make sure if you've been sick lately, stay home. Don't come. If you have a fever, stay home. Um, check those things. I'm not, you know, some people say, well, it's mandatory to wear masks in buildings everywhere now. You can do what you please. If you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. If you don't, I'm not going to ask you either way. I'm just gonna ask you that if you've been sick that you don't come and then respect others and give them a little bit of space, keep a little bit of distance. If you notice, I don't wear a mask at church and one of the reasons is I don't get up in anybody's face. I keep some distance from everybody. Say, so, oh, pastor, is that because you're par I'm not paranoid at all? But I wanna be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Isn't that Bible? I think that is Bible. And we just need to be smart in the things that we do. Like tomorrow afternoon, we could have a four or five hour picnic. But in my mind, at this moment, I don't think that that's smart. Not smart because of our religious, we have freedom. That's not the issue. Thing is, we gotta be smart in the things that we do. We have next month, our beginning of September, school starting again. We have in August, we're gonna be starting to push, getting things going. And we just gotta be smart in how we do things. And so, it's not being, it's not being um, fearful, it's being cautious. And so tomorrow we're gonna have a great time together. Tomorrow morning, 8.30, 10 a.m., we're gonna sing praises to our Lord. We might even sing extra tomorrow just because. And then tomorrow night, we're going to meet at seven. We'll be outside for the service. We'll have a great time together and we'll have food right after. The hot dogs and hamburgers will be ready as soon as the service is done. So I know some of you are like, Pastor, eating at like 7.30, 7.45. So eat your lunch a little late tomorrow and you'll be just fine. Or bring some snacks and have them outside. And so we'll have hamburgers, hot dogs, chips, and drinks. And we'll just have our chairs. We'll all be outside. We'll have fireworks together. And we'll celebrate the freedoms and the liberties that we have. Happy 4th of July to you. And uh, we live in a great country today. Don't take that for granted. I hope you go before God today and thank him for the country you live in. And... We have it so good. If we're not careful, we're going to lose what we have. And we need the Lord. And we need to live godly. We need revival. And I believe in these days that God can do it. And I believe that he can. I believe that he will. And we just got to be humble, seek God's face, and do our part. And so I hope you have a good rest of the day. I hope that if you, or if you need anything, please let me know. And also, one last thing I'll add. Next Friday, I'm going to start... Coffee with Pastor. And so if any of you would like a time slot next Friday, and it can be anywhere from 9 a.m. to 12, or if you need later in the afternoon, I can go three to five. So you can pick a time slot and I will get you coffee. And we just come talk about the Bible. If you're struggling in life and you just need, you just wanna meet, that will be a time for us to meet. So let me know and I'll, that'll be a great thing. Hope you have a great day. Hope to see you tomorrow. God bless America, right? Let's have a word of prayer for our country. I think that's a good way to end the video today. Father, we need you. Please be with our president. Please be with our governor. Please be with our city officials. Please be with our police department. Be with our country. Father, I pray you be with churches and help them stand for what's right in the midst of these days. Help us to please you and glorify you. Help us to bring honor to your name. Pray that all across California tomorrow, that you'd be praised, and that we lift up our voices and let it be known, let it be heard.
We love you. We praise your precious name. Thank you for the country we live in. And bless everything that goes on tomorrow. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hope you have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow.